All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome back to another video. Today, I'm actually at St George's Park, which is home of the England national teams. All the England teams train here. They're based here. There's loads of amazing facilities. We're going to see some of those facilities. Today, I'm here with Vauxhall. We're going to be interviewing some of the under-21 players. I'm going to talk to Gareth Southgate, the manager of the under-21s later. We're doing a live Google Hangout, which is a really cool experience for me. And if you're looking forward to seeing what I get up to, and I'm going to carry this vlog on throughout the day, drop a like on the video, let me know. Let's get on with it. Come on. Okay guys, we're in the England dressing room. We're about to do Vauxhall's first ever Google duel. Ben, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready, yeah. Okay, Google, set a 60 second timer. So you've got to try and get as many of these words as possible. Here we go. Portugal. Okay, Google, what country does Cristiano Ronaldo play for? Portugal. Bang, straight away. Okay, Google. Sweden. What country does Zlatan Ibrahimovic come from? Zlatan Ibrahimovic's nationality is Swedish. Karen Brady. Who is the chief executive of West Ham United Football Club? The CEO of West Ham. No, Paul! Oh, well, she changed her job! <laughs> well, that was right. Is that it? Is that Upton Park? That was a minute, apparently. Yeah, that's a minute. Yeah. yeah. That is Two hard. Points. Two. Two points. That is hard. I've got to beat this here. Wow, that is hard, mate. I'm not going to lie to you. That is difficult. And you're off. Wembley. Where is the national stadium of England? Wembley Stadium is a oh, Wembley Lions. in London. What is on the crest of the England football team's badge? Showing pictures matching your request. Ooh. We'll give you that, Gareth Southgate. <laughs> You're giving him that. Okay, Google, who is the manager of the England under-21 football team? England national under-21 football team's manager is Gareth Southgate. Sa- up? Give Go. me that. Three, two. Did I lose? Not really. <laughs> well, well done, mate. Well played. Good win, good win. Thank you. Okay guys, just had some lunch here at St George's Park. In a minute, we're gonna be going to do a hangout with England under 21 manager, Gareth Southgate, asking him some questions about the approaching tournament. Uh, it's me and Marcus Speller. You may know him if you listen to a podcast called The Football Ramble. Brilliant podcast, brilliant guy. Knows a lot about football. I hope you get him on the vlog in a minute. He can say hello to you. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We've also been shown around the whole complex today by uh, Ben Gibson of Middlesbrough. And I'm um, enjoying myself a lot. Here he is, look. I'm just talking about you. Oi, oi, hello everybody. You're I just looking... got some chocolate raisins. Are you looking yeah. forward to? Sweet and healthy. Yeah. <laughs> much, like, much like myself. <laughs> Are you looking forward to um, quizzing Gareth? Oh, very much so, yeah. I enjoyed him as a player and I'm enjoying him as an under-21s manager. So we're going to ask him a few questions. It's going to, it's going to be great. And he's, quite, he's quite a nice chap, quite an affable guy. He seems very nice, very yeah. smiley. Very smiley. He's got a great smile, Southgate. Yeah. He's got quite a good bit of stubble. Good Maybe we should mention that in the thing. I think so too, yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm loving it. Surely you're, you're looking forward to it. I can't wait, mate. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Let's get in there. So ask him some questions. Our final squad, the goalkeepers are Marcus Bettinelli, uh, Jonathan Bond and Jack Butland. Uh, defenders uh, Callum Chambers, Carl Jenkinson, uh, Matt Target, Luke Garbutt, uh, Michael Keane, John Stones, Ben Gibson and Liam Moore. Midfield players are James Ward-Prowse, Jake Forster-Kasky, Tom Carroll, Nathaniel Chalabar, uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Will Hughes uh, is, is our other midfield player. And then our forward players we've got Alex Pritchard, Jesse Lingard, Nathan Redmond, Saido Berahino, Harry Kane and Danny Ings. Obviously um, a lot of the guys have started with you at the start of the campaign but over that campaign they've really dramatically a few of them increased in the amount of first team football they've got, their own profiles and that's, yeah. that's got to be a good sign for you as, as, the, as the manager of the team to see these boys coming through. Well that's been one of the fascinating parts of the job really um, is to see the, the, the individual development over that period. You know, At the start maybe a third of the players were getting first team football but not consistently. Is, is it something that you can um, perhaps lean on some of the club managers and maybe have a word of them? I know Mourinho came out recently and said regarding uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek that he sees him playing a major part in their team next season. That's mm-hmm. why we see we saw him make a number of appearances towards the end. Is that something you, you, you have a dialogue with some of the club managers about players you're looking at? Yeah, o- always we, we speak closely with the managers, uh, with, with the younger ones, with their academy managers, uh, the coaches at the clubs. So the more of a picture we have of the individual player, his personality, um, what he's thought of internally with, with that club then 
again, we've, we can help that player more when they come with us. Great to hear the squad and we're looking forward to see the guys in action for sure. And Marcus and I had a bit of a treat earlier, didn't we? We went for a tour around St George's Park with uh, Ben Gibson and we'll show you what we got up to. Yeah, we're here at St George's Park. Where better to start than the hotel? Yeah, we're going to have a guided tour from an England under-21 player as well, Mr Ben Gibson of Middlesbrough. How are you, Ben? You right? Yeah, good, thanks. Yourself? Very good, thank you. Nice one, Mr. Ben. Yeah, all right, let's go and get your key to your room then. Yeah, let's crack on. Let's do it. Here's your room key, mate. Right. Yeah. Usual under-21 setup. and there's a room in this. Yeah. Medics are in the medical room waiting for you, and Daisy's got some kit for you in the kit room. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Thank you. Okay. There we go. High levels of security, as you can see. Okay, here we go. So yeah, this is the room, my bed. Is your bed here, yeah? Yeah, I think so, yeah, a little bit more airy over this side. Are we going to have a little look what's in your bag then? Yeah, I think so, yes, Come that's on. my wash bag, all my toiletries, uh -huh. bits and bobs, fragrances. I've got to ask you, did you pack the bags yourself? <laughs> <laughs> not the airport now. Generally all normal stuff, not too exciting. Stay. Nice boots. Come on. <laughs> a little bit a little bit dirty oh. stuff in the yeah. finals. Is that from the Hallett Turf of Wembley? It is. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, there yeah. you go. So we're here in the dining hub at St George's Park and we've got John here who is the physical performance coach looking after these guys including Ben. So we're talking about nutrition first of all as we're in the dining hub. What sort of things do you advise these guys to eat? Generally speaking, we want these guys to have a diet that's high in carbohydrates, uh, but it's high in proteins. Uh, carbohydrates are important for players because they play for 90 minutes, during the course of 90 minutes. Energy levels are important to maintain high intensity of work. Uh, so make sure they're topped up nicely, can make sure they can really work hard at high intensity for the whole duration of the game. Uh, protein's really important for recovery. Yeah. Uh, I guess during uh, the course of a game or training session, uh, there is some degree of muscle damage. Uh, so getting protein on board as part of the diet helps the muscle repair themselves and get the players back to back to uh, fully function as quick as possible. And what about the mood in the camp? Obviously, you must have some personalities in there. Who are the people that have the most sort of banter and keeping the energy high? Yeah, there's some. Honestly, we've got a lot of big characters, so it's hard to pinpoint one or two. Tom Carroll's really funny, and Carl Jenkins, my roommate, I find hilarious, which is why I room with him and. You know, we, we've really got good lads right across the board. It, it's always a good laugh. Some Someone's always joking about something. And th there's obviously a fine line between when to joke and, and when to get our serious heads yeah. on and work. And I feel as though we've got the balance quite right. First of all, uh, David, have to start things off. We spoke to Gareth before. He gave yeah. us his under-21 squad. What, what are your first thoughts when you, you heard the squad? Any notable names or omissions or anything like that? From a goalkeeping point of view, obviously, Jack Butland, who... Um, I think with his, his running for the end of the Premier League season, done did very well for Stoke. Yeah. Um, a massive progression from last season. And I think everyone looks at the forwards, Harry Kane, of course, uh, being the focal point, mm. if you like. But in defence, with Jack Buckman in the form he's in, going into a tournament, they've got to fancy themselves. Who are the ones you think that can really you know, etch out a, a long-term career? And I know it's early days still, but are there, are there certain names that you think, you know, I can see this guy in an England shirt for a long time to come, uh, like the likes of Lampard and Gerrard have done over the last 10, 15 years. For the first well, I, I like, I mean, uh, he's, he's flavour of the month, if you like, but Harry Kane, OK, he's had a great season, he's scored lots of goals, but it's the variation in the goals he's yeah. scored, it's the, the skill level of the goals he's scored, he's mm. not just banging in shots from 12 yards, you know, he's taking players on, mm. and, th and that level of skill, I think, can, will take him a long way. One, one lad in Pritchard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mate, I'm, I've been buzzing off him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm absolutely buzzing off him. Right, just done the live stream with uh, Gareth Southgate, David James included, and now I'm going to do another Google Jewel with David James. I took on uh, Ben Gibson earlier and he beat me, so I've got to try and beat David James. Now that's the challenge. Do you think I can get him? Are you, you going to win this one? I'm going to try yeah. and win it. Yeah, all right. Three, so it's controversial, though. It's controversial. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for me to do another Google Jewel, this time with David James, ex England and West Ham, of course, most important thing, uh, goalkeeper. And we're obviously going to do this in the human performance lab here at St George's Park so it's perfect surroundings for a proper competition proper okay here we go uh, okay Google what country is Vincent Company from Vincent Company's nationality is Belgium we'll have that <sighs> okay okay Google what football club play at the bowling ground according to Wikipedia oh, the it's take ages. Come on. To yes say it say it Park, East London. Yes, I'm on the clock here, Google. The home of West Ham Got City. it. Next. Okay, Google. What country is Pavel Nedved from? Pavel Nedved's nationality is Czech. Bang. What football tournament is held every four years? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Yeah, it was going to work. He said World Cup, but I'm out of time. Three, three, three. Three, man. I'm, I'm not good at this game. I'm not going to lie to you. Go. Where is the national stadium for football in England? The national stadium is 
No, that's not what. Right. Need to be more clear what? than that, Dave. Come on. Oh, is come it on. Where do England play their home matches? Football. <laughs> No, what? that's a fiction. Your, your diction. You need to work on your diction, David. From a communication Okay, Google. Go, go. hey, you're out of time, mate. You're out of time. That wasn't a minute. That was a minute. It's a tough game, pal. I've been on the receiving end of a loss. It's never easy to take. That wasn't a I minute. I know you're a professional, but you know, you've got a bit of work to do on this one. You'll get it with time, though. Oh. And we're not all professional, professional OK Googlers, you know? Comes with time, but good game, good game. I'm sorry, mate. That, gonna, that wasn't a game. You're not going to shake my hand after a loss. Come on, you're better than that, you're better than that. Okay. Look at the size of his hands, by the way. That is goalkeeper's hands. That's, this is a terrible game. I won. I won. Come on! Well, that is it from here at St George's Park. We've done the live stream. I've played and beaten David James at the Google Duel game. And uh, it's been a lot of fun seeing the home of English football. I'm off on the train now. Long journey home because it's in the middle of nowhere. Drop a like on this video, though, if you've enjoyed my little up-close personal review and uh, journey at St George's Park. And it's a great place, an amazing facility. And whilst we can't see the immediate effects that it's having on English football just yet, I think in the coming years we definitely will. And it's going to help us get to the next level. I've been Spencer. You've been fantastic. I'll see you on the next one. Don't go changing.